This is our 2017 Honda Pilot SUV Tiny Camper. We've been camping and road tripping out of it for the last three years and for the last two months we've been on a road trip through northern BC, Yukon and Alaska camping and sleeping out of it every night. We've kept our vehicle pretty stock but we've made a few additions to the outside. The first thing we've done is we've added on all-terrain, all-weather tires. We use the Geolander all-terrain tires by Yokohama with a mud and snow rating. They fit the stock wheels for our pilot. When we changed the tires, we used one of the original tires to replace the half-size spare for a full-sized one. These tires allow us to move from paved highway to muddy logging roads and from summer roads to snowy mountain winter roads. The next thing we've done is we've put these rain guards on the outside of the windows so that we can roll down the windows just a little bit while it's raining and keep the rain out. We ordered these off Amazon and installed them ourselves. And the last thing we have on the outside of our vehicle is this tailgate tent. Now we only put this up maybe once every few nights and it helps us either keep the rain out or the bugs off. Our tent comes with no CM mesh and also privacy ripstop fabric. So we can put down just the Noceum mesh if we want to keep the mosquitoes out. And then we can use this privacy ripstop fabric if we need some privacy inside the tent for bathing or something like that. We made this tent ourselves using a tailgate tent that we purchased as a base, then sewing on the sides ourselves from fabric that we specially sourced. The tent doesn't have a bottom as we wanted to be able to cook and clean inside. But like I said, we don't always use our tailgate tent. When we're sleeping in free rest areas or just pulling in somewhere to camp quickly for the night, we don't usually bother to set it up. Off the back of our tiny camper, we always have our kitchen ready for us. So if we pull over for lunch at a roadside stop, we can cook and easily make lunch. And then when we get to camp at night, we can quickly make dinner. Our kitchen has lots of stuff in it. And like I said, we've been living out of it for the last two months. So it has even more stuff than usual. Over here on this side, we have just lots of stuff. We have our bocce ball game, we have our water shoes that we use for going in the lake, we have some spare blankets, some spare toilet paper, just lots of stuff. Over here we have our drawer set. The top drawer is where we keep all of our clean stuff, so bowls, utensils, pots and pans, spatulas, anything we use to cook or to eat off of. Our bottom drawer has more stuff, so in here we keep things like our stove, our gas, our tablecloth, some lights, some flashlights, some knives, really any other things we might need around camp, even a first aid kit. In the middle we have our little stand which has our toiletries on the top, it has our water dispenser with something to dry our hands with, and it has our bucket so that when the, we use the water dispenser we have somewhere to catch the water. And then underneath we have all of our dry food. It doesn't look like much, but we can store a lot of dry food in here, probably about a week's worth. Our water jug is a modified metal office drawer set with a DIY acrylic piece on top to hold our toiletries. And then we have our cooler that we've had for over 20 years. We've talked about replacing it and using an electric fridge or something like that, but this cooler works for us. We put a new ice block in it about once every three or four days and it seems to keep our stuff cool. We also have this awesome table that Chris found for us at Canadian Tire. We love it because it stores so easily in our tiny camper and then when we get somewhere like a rest area or if we're free camping somewhere where there's no picnic table, we always have somewhere we can use to prepare our food. In fact, we love it so much that even when we're at a paid campsite like this one with a beautiful picnic table, we still use this to prepare our food. One thing I almost forgot to mention is this dividing wall. This is a piece of cardboard that we've covered in fabric and one thing I love about it is it separates our kitchen area from our sleeping area and most importantly it keeps the bugs out so we can keep the tailgate open and cook and clean and brush our teeth back here while the bugs aren't flying into the area we sleep in. For privacy, ventilation and comfort we also have our window screens and our window covers. Over here we have our window screens which have fans on them and privacy covers and no CM mesh so we can open the windows while keeping the bugs out and have lots of ventilation. On the back windows we just have some window covers and on the front windows and the windscreen or the windshield we also have some window covers. We've talked a lot about our window screens and our window covers in other videos so if you want to know more about them check out our channel. For sleeping in our tiny camper we have our super cozy bed. Our bed is made up of a memory foam mattress and then underneath that we have a self-inflating mattress pad. 
On top, Chris and I each have our own two pillows each, so a total of four pillows. We have a sheet set and a duvet. And then when it's warmer out, we don't need to use the duvet. To make room for our bed while never having to change our kitchen off the back, we made a bed platform extender. So we have two feet of kitchen space and then we have six feet of sleeping space. Above the foot of our bed, we also have our clothing cubes that we keep all of our clothing in. The clothing cubes are held on a PVC shelf that we've made ourselves that we did a video on, so check out our channel. And then the clothing cubes just hold all of the clothing that we need. When we're at camp during the day or when we're hanging out in the camper at night, we don't necessarily always want to be in bed, so we can convert our camper into living room mode. To put our tiny camper into living room mode, we stuff our bedding under the clothing shelf, roll up the bed, lift up the bedboard, fold back the legs, and place it behind the seats. And then we add some blankets to make it feel cozy and ready for the evening. We use living room mode for hanging out when it's colder out, when it's rainy, or when we just want to get inside. We have lots of blankets to keep us warm and a center console for playing games or putting drinks on. We also have a power station for recharging our devices like our laptops. And that's how we sleep, cook, and stay cozy in our Honda Pilot SUV Tiny Camper.